Continuing on with APE's Energy FRQ Math with number three. So number three is about the Cobb family of Fremont, Fremont who wants to decrease their home water and energy usage. So pause the video now and go ahead and read the prompt. All right, let's go on to AI. So AI says to calculate the following. Be sure to show your work and include units in your answers. I, the total number of water that the family uses per year for taking showers. All right, so it says that every person on average uses or takes about 10 minutes, a uh, 10 minute shower per day. And it's saying that right now they use about five gallons per minute but we don't want days we want years so we want 365 days per year now here's the part of this problem that students mess up they forget that there's four people in the family okay so minutes cancel and days cancel and we're ending up with gallons per year for the family and that's what we want the question is asking us for gallons per year so I need to do this math so 10 times 5 is 50 times 4 so I'm getting the easy math done first so I've got I've done 10 times 5 times 4 and so now I've got 200 times 365 and actually, I'm going to set it up the other way because it's easier to do the other way. 365 times 200. Because then my zeros go here, and now I can do 5 times 2 is 10. Bring up the 1. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So my answer comes out to 73,000 gallons per year that the family uses in water. Now, do you have to set it up all of these four things at once? No, you don't. You can do them just two at a time, and that's okay. As long as you include the units in your work, you can do it several different ways for credit. It doesn't have to be exactly how they do it. AII. -I. All right, so it's asking about now hot water, the annual cost of the electricity for the family showers. Calculate it, and assuming that 2.5 gallons per minute of the water is used from hot water. So the cold water doesn't take electricity. Um, so if they're using per year 73,000 total, and half of that is um, hot, we're just gonna divide it by two to get our hot water. So when I divide this by 2, you can pause the video and solve this long division problem. So when I divide this by 2, my answer is 36,500. And so this is the amount of gallons of hot water. This is also a step that students forget to take as well. You gotta start there, 36 gallons of hot water, but oh, we're not done, I shouldn't have circled it, but we're not done. So now we're gonna figure out the cost of the hot water. So we're gonna take 36,000 gallons, and we, uh, this is per year for the hot water, and we're gonna multiply that, it costs us, um, or it, we use um, 0.2 kilowatt hours per gallon to heat that water in the hot water heater. And that costs us 10 cents per kilowatt hour to heat that water. Now, could you split it up and put these in two different problems? Absolutely. Again, it doesn't matter to them, but sometimes when you set it up in a big long line, then you know you can cross off things and see if you're in the right direction. So gallons cross, kilowatts cross, 
cross out, and now I have dollars per year. So let's see if that's what my question asks for. It's asking for cost per year. So great, I'm on the right track. So I can go ahead and solve for this. Now, um, you're going to multiply 36,500 times 0.2 and then point 0.1. So go ahead and pause the video and do that multiplication problem by hand. All right, and so did you come up with this? $730 per year? If not, go back and check your math. Use a calculator just to check your math. Don't use a calculator to solve it because you got to get lots of practice without using a calculator. All right, let's go on to B. The family is considering replacing their current hot water heater with a new energy efficient hot water heater that costs $1,000 and uses half the energy that their current hot water heater uses. How many days would it take for the new hot water heater to recover the $1,000 initial cost. So let's figure out how much per day that the old cost is. So the old bill for electricity cost $730 per year. And if we take this number and divide by 365 days, Let me fix this, it's a little messy. 365 days per year. Oh, look, they come out evenly. 365 times two is, or is 730. So the AP test does like to make things come out nice and even. So $2 per day is what it costs for the um, old bill for electricity. So this would be the old bill. And the new bill for electricity is going to be half that because the new bill says that it costs them half the amount. So the new bill is going to be half of that, which is a dollar a day. So it says that it costs them $1,000 to install it, and they're going to save a dollar per day. So, because they went from two to one, so they save a dollar a day, so it's going to pay back in a thousand days. And that's how you do B. Not too complicated for B as long as you set it up correctly and understand what they're trying to ask you. All right, let's go on to number four. Go ahead and pause the video and read the prompt for number four. Okay, so this is actually kind of a quick and quick problem. It's not that easy, but it's it's kind of quick. It's just one calculation, and there are several ways that the AP test this year. This was, um, oh goodness, 12, 13 years ago they gave this question. And they had about six different ways you could set it up and get credit for this answer. So the way that I'm just going to show you how to do it is we're going to start with 150 million cars. And I'm going to leave the word million in here because if I just take it and put all those zeros in, sometimes it makes it more complicated. So 150 million cars, um, or you can put in scientific notation, but I suggest leaving it in the words, times 10,000 miles per year times, um, oh, sorry, that's incorrect. Um, let me back up a little bit.
Okay, this one's actually going to be divided by 25 um, miles per gallon. And then we're going to multiply it by 0.1 because of 10% of the population that uh, the cars could be replaced with electric vehicles. So that would be the 0.1 here for 10%. So when I do this whole math and I calculate it out, so I'm going to take 10,000 over here. times 150 first All right, so when I do this problem out here, I'm going to end up with this big old number and like this. Um, and so I've so far, and you got to keep track of your math, I've done this times that. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit easier by multiplying it by 0.1. And when I multiply by 0.1, I just need to move my decimal point over once here. So now I have. 1, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Now I've got to go ahead and divide by 25. So, now fortunately this goes in evenly because um, 25 goes into 156 times and then it's even, so I can just fill in these zeros. So my answer here is 6,000. Oh, but wait, I have the word million here. And so I have to make sure that my answer is 600 million. Now, can I leave it here at 600 million? Yes, I can. Um, or you can change it if you know that 6,000 million is also equal to 6 billion. You can change it like that too. So this is a question again that appeared about 12 years ago. Um, I haven't seen one that is quite like this recently, but just in case it's good to practice. Nowadays, the most recent FRQs that are math are broken down bit by bit. They don't expect one big giant problem like this one is. But again, sometimes they, they do a throwback and they do a retro type problem. And I just wanted you to be familiar with this one just in case that they, they do that. One of the things I forgot on this was our units. So um, our miles up here cancel out. And um, our, we end up here with gallons per year because the gallons, when it's kind of like this, flips up to the top. So we have gallons per year, 6 billion gallons per year. And our cars cancel because it's um, actually, this is miles per car per year. So the cars end up canceling here too. All right, so that's the end for this FRQ math.